let me introduce you to the Burner Set. Now confirmed part of the Survival Pack pre-order DLC. The Burner Pack contains two cans of butane aerosol gas and tiny fire starters, which could mean anything. So how might we be using fire in... Resident Evil 7. First, as shown on the back of the can, this can be converted into a small blowtorch for melting if you find the top piece. But what in the heck would we have to melt? Hmm, I can't put my finger on it. Another thing that makes a lot of sense is creating a blowtorch to use as a self-defense tool. Add something to the flame and poof, someone's on fire. Welcome to the flame lead, Jack. Canned gas or little fire starters are often found in camping stoves. We may have to throw on our tidy whities and cook up some herbs or cams. Yes, science! A less likely but popular theory is that we may have to burn bodies like we did in the remake, which would mean we might see a crimson head or two, or 500! Is it for a flamethrower? Also to note, the can is written in Japanese. What does this mean? Is part of the game in Japan? Mizoshima is also a real gas company. Weird. So whether it's something from a past game, something we've theorized, or something completely new, it looks like fire will be playing a part in... Resident Evil 7. Crimson Army, what do you think fire's used for? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe.